Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we were in the middle of Fort Frostmoth here in the uh, little graveyard area. Grody. Anyway, we are trying to kill this uh, general that apparently has been brought back to life. And that requires us going through this place. So, uh... Let's just knock that open real quick. And, oh. Oh, dear. Yeah, I figured there would be spiders. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. Sorry, London. This is exactly what we uh, thought was going to happen. I'm just going to throw that. Hopefully kill one. And if not, oh well. Ah, oh, there's one blown up. Hey, that's two, actually. That's nice. Alright, well, we have one just sitting there, and it looks like he's cloaked in flame. So I'm surprised my flame attacks have done anything, period. And he resisted it, of course. Okay, well, fuck me. We'll do the sword then. Hand down there real quick. Alright, and take a swing. There we go. Ah, there's another one. Albino spider, there we go. Nice. Got all that taken care of. More or less. There's another one. Where is it? There it is. There we go. These are tiny little things. Albino spider pod. The hell could these be used for? Albino spider egg. Okay, well... There's a whole bunch of these fucking things, that's for sure. And... The other one broke up. The little flame cloak one broke up. And so did the other two, now that I think about it. Huh. Alright. Well, now I'm a little concerned as to what the fuck's going on. Ooh, Ruby Geode, hello. I'm gonna get into this one. Just a little bit. Well, apparently that was quick. <laughs> Oops, I do. Didn't think it'd be that fast. I decided to go for a drink when I started that. Well. There we go. We're just going to mine these little bits here. Just because, hey, they're right here. Uh, is this an actual solid wall? It looks like it. Or at least close enough to look like it. Ugh. Ugh. Getting too close does not look good. Okay. Now these uh these other ones are probably heart stones, so I can probably prop uh, uh, no. I could probably Yeah, I could probably spend my time drinking while I'm mining these up. Give me a moment. Sorry about that. It is really hot out here right now in this fucking state. Jesus. It's ridiculous. Alright, well, apparently back in Michigan it's also worse, so... <laughs> At least there, it's more humidity than anything else, and if you get rid of the humidity, you're good. Ugh. Anyway. Perfect. Now, I think I got everything. I think. Yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So, I just head not down here. Good God. Still more of these. I'm not going to pick these up. Mainly because I know what they're for. But also because... No. <laughs> I don't want any of that. And it's too much time for too little payoff. So, no. Not going to do that. But apparently I was wrong. Apparently that was not the way we needed to go. I assume this is the way we needed to go. Which I had the key for. Hey, hey nice. Alright. I was about to say, well, I couldn't find the key, so I might get fucked. That's the first upright person I've seen. I should probably get someone who's good. Ooh, conjure Rathman. There we go. Him there. And then grab my sword. There we go. 
And now we kill this guy, whoever he is. Oh, he's General Fox carries. Oh, and he has more friends. Okay, that should do something. Oh, he's already fighting behind him. Knock this guy down. Come on, there we go. And down we go. Oh, not. Or not at all. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Oh! Jeez. I'm dying. I'm dying now. Okay, where is something that'll help me? Ah, two. Yeah, but okay, this will work. And let's try damage health. Maybe that'll work on this guy, even though he's probably, like, undead. Consider that. Oh, come on. Okay, he is... Whoa! Jeez, I'm getting mobbed by two others. Uh, fuck. Uh, let's try that. And uh, try... This. There we go. Get that one down and what? And... Jump on, let's die already. Oh, yes, we killed him. Yes! Woo! Fuck, I stuck. Apparently, my Wrathman went down almost instantly. The other two were able to get after me. Hey! Love that. Give me that, give me that, give me that, 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 and give me this. Uh, Moonstone. I can do that. I can also take that iron. That would be good. Let's see what else we got for the other one before I pick up his shit. Ooh, yeah. And do I have any reason to get Spawn Ash? Really? I just want to make sure. Do I have any reason? Ravage stamina. Eh, fuck it. I'll find some sort of thing I'm supposed to do with it. General Falks Carius. Champion's Cudgel. 50% chance for each element of fire, frost, and shock to do 31 points of damage. That is impressive. That is impressive for sure. Alright, well, I'm going to add that to my things to break down eventually and I am now overweight but that is fine I'm going to pick this up and that up and small antlers no that's not the thing I want death brand huh well then oh search for the treasure of Hackneer death brand well, maybe I do need to read it after all. <laughs> I didn't know if I needed to. Acnir Deathbrand was dying. For Garrick Windrime, ship's quartermaster, it was unthinkable. His grandfather had served under Hackneer nigh on 60 years before, and even then he was a legend among the pirates of the north. The King of Ghosts, they called him. As eternal and pitiless as the sea he sailed. Uh... To Garrick, who had seen him charge into battle, clad in armor of gleaming Stalrim like the kings of old, his twin swords scything men like grass, Hackner was practically a god. But none feared Hackner more than his own crew. They knew his rages, his fits of madness, how he delighted in torture and murder for its own sake. And there are even darker rumors. Ooh. Some said he fed upon the blood and souls of those he killed to extend his unnatural life. Some thought him a Daedra, loosed upon the mortal world, and others said he'd owed his life and power, his armor and swords, to a pact with Dagon, Prince of Destruction. And the seal of that pact was the terrible wound that scarred his face never to heal, the Death Brand, which no man could look upon without flinching. That's probably not great. All these things ran through Garrick's mind as he took his place on deck at the head of the crew, exchanging a curt nod with Thalin, the ship's helmsman and his chief rival. By sundown, he thought one of them would be captain, the other would be dead. When Hackneer finally emerged from his cabin, the crew roofs fell silent. He looked frail, his voice raspy, but even so, he had a presence about him. As he looked over his men, the most brutal murderers ever to ply the North Seas, not one who could meet his gaze. I, I, my brain is collapsing. Give me a moment. Not one could meet his gaze. At last, he sighed. You wish to know who will be my successor and bow my sh and how my share of the treasure shall be divided. Alright. The H's are weird. Uh, that was the question, but even so, there were murmurs of protest. Hackner cut them off. 
All these years I have looked for one who is worthy to take my place, or strong enough to take it from me. Not one of you even comes close, and so none of you shall have it. Oh. And he extended his hand, and Dagon's name I place a curse upon my armor and my swords, this ship and all it carries. Until the day when one of you can best me in combat, you shall not have a single coin. He looked up at them. Be grateful I have left you with your lives. Garrick and Thalon shared a single glance. Had anyone else said such a thing, there would have been a mutiny. A hundred treasure-mad pirates against one old man. But this was Hackner. The crew was silent. Hackner threw a map at Garrick's feet. Garrick, take my longboat and bury my armor in the places I have marked. Thalon, we share, we sail to my tomb, where you shall leave me with my gold. Then burn your ships and do as you will. I am your captain no more. And with that, he turned and stalked back to his quarters. At daybreak, Garrick took his leave and set out in, La, in a longboat with three of his men. They landed on a shoal to the north of Solstheim at the place Hackner had marked, made camp, and began to dig. But already, greed stirred in Garrick's heart. Time and again, he glanced at the iron-bound chest they had brought with him. The old man was gone, perhaps already dead, his orders foolish. That night, Garrick pried open the chest and drew out the helm within. Yeah. Give me a... Yawning a little bit. Ah! Sleepy. It's a little early in the morning. The stallroom shimmered in the moonlight. It was time. Time for a new king of ghosts to rise. He placed the helm on his head, and he screamed. And it is said you could hear that screaming still on moonlit nights on Rocky Shoal off the northern coast of Solstheim. Postscript. This story is one of the last in the Hackneer saga, the tale surrounding the life and adventures of the legendary pirate king Hackneer Deathbrand. How much of it is actually true, if indeed any of it is true, I leave to the reader's discretion. Alrighty. That is definitely something I needed to read, because holy shit, that is awesome, and I want that armor. What is in here? Got something, for sure. Uh, yep. Yep, yep, and chance to paralyze the target. Hells to the gal. I, can, I don't even need to sell that. I can just break that down. And, huh. Trying to make sure I didn't leave anything back behind here. But, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> Damn it, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a second yawn today. Ah, motherfucker, fucker. Ooh, garlic. And another bit of garlic. And a whole garlic braid. Nice. Alright. What is that? I want to see what that is. Oh, that's probably troll sculpt. The fuck is this? Why is that the only one that's indented? Okay. Let's see what else is over here. Sun's dusk. Is that? Nope. Nothing important. Okay, Dragon Break, Legend of Red Eagle, Mad Men of the Reach. Okay, that is absolutely nothing that I should worry myself with. And I really cannot move that much. Gee, Buzz, Lorenzo, let me move. Okay, there we go. Whoo! Now I need to go all the way back to Raven Rock with all of the shit I just got. Boy, oh boy, this is going to be fun. Or maybe not. Ah. Okay. And I think I am good. Currently. I'm done with this place. As far as I'm aware. Uh... I cannot. Well, I do not want that. Yeah, that's going to take forever to get back to. Take forever and a half. Uh, fuck. Well, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> this is really going to take forever, huh? Well, at least I know my heading. That's the important thing. We have our heading. All right. So. Um, I'm gonna see if I can... Yeah, I do have something for this, I'm sure. Not that. Um... 40 ought to do it. Yeah, that does it. So, 
I'm actually going to fast travel now because I have that in me. There we go. Ooh. Reading one of Hermaeus Mora's black books may tra transport you to his realm. Read it again to escape. Well, ah, uh, we've already discovered that wonderful place. <laughs> that wonderful tentacle place. Not going to go there again. That's for damn sure. Okay. Alrighty, yeah, we're here. And I still have a little bit of the potion going on. Ash. Well, yeah, it's not great. Hey, Vela. What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? Ah, uh, some good. I killed General Carius. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? Not a damn clue. It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Carius' exploits, mm -hmm. including the founding of Raven Rock. Oh, really? He'll no longer send Ashbond to Raven Rock at this Counselor point. Counselor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got rid of General Carius. Well, I did both. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. I definitely am. I'm just kind of curious what your pay paid. Holy fuck. Five thousand. Thank you very much. Did you need something else from me? I'm sorry to bother you. Second Counselor Rano asked me to come find you. Really? He said it's quite urgent. Ah. Uh -huh. Did he say what it was about? All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Fair Look, enough. this is important. Even more important than wiping out the Ash Spawn. Really? Please, go speak to the Second Counselor as soon as possible. I will do that. I have loot to sell off, so I will do that. But, I will be right with him as soon as I can. Speaking of which, I should probably mark that. There we go. Now I know where to go as soon as I'm done with my shit that I need to sell. Speaking of which, what time is it? Jesus Christ, I'm going to need to wait anyway. Ooh, someone's humming. And... That is a song I can't recognize. Anyway. Time to wait for about... Yeah, 11 hours. Should be fine. I think. <sighs> Alrighty, almost done. And there we go. Perfect. And where is the people? There they are, now they're facing it. Lover, you son of a bitch, where are you? God damn it. Ah! Man. Move along. Excuse me. I just did shit for you. Making it safer for you. Asshole. Alright, let's, uh. Since I have some silver, let's melt that down a little bit. Melt this down a little bit. Melt this down a little bit. Uh, how about this? Uh, a little bit of that. Uh, Corundum ingot. Uh, I don't necessarily need that. It's a pleasure to watch when. There we go. That I can do. Hello. Well, I didn't walk by you, more walked by me, but that's okay. I don't mind the particulars on that. All right, I should really not do that. <laughs> okay. Milor. I don't know who sent you here, but you've given us something to build on here. I hope someday we can repay you for your kindness. Well, give me money. How about this? So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Well, I'm interested in selling something. That's, that's really it. Alright, what do you got? Holy shit, you have a lot. Okay, uh... Filter of strength. Don't necessarily need to buy those to buy these, because they're useful. Uh, solution of strength. That would at least replace the one I had to use to get here. Um, what else do I got? Uh, how is Cyrodelic Brandy considered a potion? I ask you that. How the fuck is that considered a potion? Alright, uh, fuck. Fear poison, paralysis poison, there we go. Sell some of this off. Mainly to 
you know, get my gold back that I just spent. Uh, titties. Don't know what to sell. Ooh, this. I can sell all of this. Uh, that works. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. And that's it. That's all I need to sell you. Enjoy Remember, all those potions. Of potions and ingredients if you're ever in the market. Believe me, I'm usually always in the market. Where is... Where is Glover? Damn it. By the nine... God fucking ball fuck. Glover! Get over here. Yes, hat. There you are. Jesus Christ. Jesus, Harold Christ. You got Christ. a good thing going here now. The finest weapons and armor. Thank you. Abaduba. Okay. And he has a lot of gold now. I'm going to keep that because I want to break this one down. That one I'm going to break down. This I'm going to sell. This I'm going to sell. This I'm definitely going to sell. And eminent blocking. That is amazing. I'm going to sell that. Holy shit, I have 93,000 gold. <laughs> Holy fuck, that is amazing. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. Of course, but at this point, I have better better and bigger fish to fry. Uh, one of them being breaking down that shit. That is the main concern I have right now. I'm going to... Oh no, my soda's out. No. Keep moving. Oh, well. How about you, you shut your mouth? You've brought Raven Rock back from the breeze. Yes, I have. I don't know how to thank you. Well, money. That, that's usually the best way for me. If anything. May I have a word with you, counselor? Uh, I'm going to break that down. Of course. Break this down. There we go. What troubles you? Uh, I was concerned hmm. about our food stores. Jalen can only carry so much on each journey, and I'm afraid we might run out. Yeah. I'll speak with point. Garen and see if we can't increase the crop production this season. <sighs> Sorry, Cinderi. I fear we'll be feasting on Ashians a bit more often this year. Yeah, it's better than, you know, not if you find having anything. <laughs> that that's a good point, anyway. I think I'm gonna find the uh one guy. Second counselor, uh Adriel, I think his name was. I think. I want to say that is. Anyway. Just remember who's in charge around here. No, you don't say. All right. Uh, he's either over there or over here. Uh. They serve the best in Sujang. Taste over the French Nash. Oh really? Worth every coin. All right. Sounds good. And I will keep that in mind. Where is the I other guy? Seems to be over there. What the hell? Is it because of your father, or is it me? He's never what? been the same since my mother died. Uh. I don't think he ever wants me to feel the pain he suffers. Uh. At some point, you're going to have to choose. No matter the outcome, I'll always respect your decision. Ah. Looks, looks and sounds like there's some little romance blooming over there. Huh. Well, I'm going to sell the uh, East it Empire... Yeah, pen so, to this guy. What can I get you? Yeah, I got the I'm pendants. beginning to like this partnership. Here you go. Thank you. And 500 gold. Nice. If you need any supplies? I definitely do. But I can't seem to see the guy who I need to talk to. There he is. I'm over here for some fucking reason. Weird. Anyway. You know, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because we're a little bit over time. And I'm going to do this in the next one. Sorry for leaving it on cliffhanger about this particular guy's stuff. Anyway, ah, he was right about the name. That's good. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and selling off more of my loot from killing things that need to be killed for you.